Hi friends, so this is the continuation of my last blog where I had clarified one of the queries from my subscribers. So this is a continuation of the same blo uh, blog. If you would like to know the problem statement, I would advise you to get back uh, to my last video. And or on in short, if you want to understand how to use a temporary table, uh, that is a hash table in the data flow task, uh, you could refer this uh, video as such. But quickly, what I am trying to do here is uh, the subscriber or the follower reported that she cannot copy uh, that she does not have the create permission on the source or the development environment as well so in that scenario where we cannot create the loading table uh, we had created a loading table here staging load table uh, to actually copy the entire data from for, from the three tables and then we had uh, extracted this data and loaded into our production development actual EMP table so let me revert back the changes and what I do here is I simply drop this table as well uh, because we do, we, we do not have such permission to create a table now what are we going to do we simply have these three tables which needs to be copied to the destination environment uh, or the production server so uh, this is all this blog is going to be a trick for you guys where we can actually create hash tables or temporary tables uh, in the MS in the uh, te temp DB database and then copy it. So let's see what SSIS package changes we have to make for, for, for that configuration. So what I do here is I delete this and then I add one more SQL task. Let's add uh, another SQL task to, to this and I use it as source and then I create a hash table so even if you do not have any create permissions you will be able to use this command and create a hash table because this table is, is a temporary table so we create a hash table which is of the similar schema and structure of the actual table at source I mean it is it has a similar structure and schema of the EMP a B and C tables so we do that and that's all now we connect this to the for each loop and in the source properties there is a change that you have to make is in you you access the source property connection managers property and you can see there is a retain same connection so you have to set it to true so that the source connection remains valid across the complete SSIS package this is because in SSIS there is a connection pooling uh, facility so each of the task execute SQL tasks or any other task which make connections create fresh uh, fresh connections to the uh, uh, server so we if we want to retain that same connection all across since we want to use the same te uh, temporary table across uh, this SSIS package at source so we set this property to true next what we do here is uh, we get to the for each loop and we revise this code this uh, dynamic SQL code so what I have here what we do is we insert a new set of code that is we declare a table uh, a variable as we had done in the last one and we create a string SQL string and then we insert data in this fashion so we want to execute I mean the SQL string and insert the data into uh, the hash table that we are creating so let's do that and then say go each time it this this will run each time for uh, the EMP a B and C tables and insert the data so that's done next we move on to the temporary table so as you can see uh, there is a problem because staging load table doesn't exist so since we have we'll do it in a smarter way we'll say EMP a initially and simply initialize uh, initialize that so and next what we do here is select the properties of the data flow task and delay set your delay validation to true so that the SSS package doesn't validate this uh, task before execution next what we do here is we use the OLEDB uh, properties and set the validate external metadata properties to false similarly we set it for the destination as well and leave it so just remember the, the changes that I have done now if you see there is one last change that we have to do 
the complete package is valid we just go to the source and scroll down and in a smarter way a trick that you can see since since the OLEDB source is actually validated pre-validated so each time it runs it will check if the table already exists or not I do it in a smarter way the temporary table doesn't exist so initially I, I had put it to EMPA now I set it to hash T which is the temporary table and then leave it do not open this uh, OLEDB source do it from the properties and you will be able to do that now you run your package so currently if you see we do not have any table with uh, the staging load and we are not using any table creation here and we uh, and and the, if you see the EMP table actually has only one record so now let's run the package with this change these are all so I'm not sure if you have not declared it yeah that is the problem so we have to set it right to table name so let's run it perfect so now if we take a look we have all the records at the same time we have not created any new tables at our source or at the destination so thank you friends this was a quick blog on a remediation of not creating any new objects see you